This is the laser controller that we sell on Build Your CNC. The laser controller comes with a user interface for manually controlling the laser. The laser controller itself that has the capability of controlling two different lasers. It also has the capability of connecting to four motors to move the nozzle and the gantry of the laser system. You have X, Y, Z, and U. You have four axes of motion control. You have the capability of creating the limits, limit switches for X, Y, Z, and U. You can sense or receive input from the laser system for whatever function you need to receive signals. Powering the laser controller with 24 volts. And you have also the capability of, of outputting signals to the laser system for various devices that you need to turn on or off. The control interface includes a screen that allows you to view what you are manipulating using the buttons on the control interface. It will show you the current condition of the machine and a way for you to access the menu system to change parameters. You'll have a reset button to set the machine back into a reset mode where it brings the machine back to its origin, machine origin. You have the file button that brings up the file menu that you can set into the the default file to run, a laser button to fire the laser, and this is generally used for testing purposes, box which moves the laser system around the spot that it will be actually cutting or engraving, origin to set the origin, the menu to cycle through the menu options, stop button to stop the current actions of the machine, and a start button that starts the process of engraving or cutting. You have X, Y, Z movements. You have an escape to get out of any menu system that you're in. And you have an enter key to accept certain selections on the screen. The arrows also are used for the menu system, but it's also used for moving the machine as well. So if you're in a state that the machine is ready to be moved, that the machine is ready and can be positioned, you can use the arrow keys. Otherwise, if you're in a menu system, you'll be using the, the arrow keys to cycle through the menu. You have a, a USB slot here for thumb drives that can be accessed for cutting files. This interface plugs into the laser controller using this type of plug and you'll have two of these to plug in. The other ends get plugged into this part of the laser controller. You also have another plug on the side of the user interface that you use this type of cable that has an ethernet connection and a USB connection to interface to the computer for computer control. On the back of the manual interface, you have a connection for the computer as well. You'll also receive two other cables that come with the laser controller. One that is a, a USB connection from the interface to the computer and an Ethernet patch cord that can also be used to interface with the computer. You would only use one of these, either the USB or the Ethernet. That's a general overview of the laser controller that we sell. In the next videos, I'm going to show you how to connect the laser controller to the drivers and motors, to the computer, to the laser, and to the limit switches. And I'll also go over how to use the software and controlling the laser controller with the software. Thank you for watching.